good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to control your android phone from your pc or your laptop using the usb cable now why i'm sharing the usb cable method because due to any purpose if you want to control your android phone probably for video editing or just doing some kind of task so the best and the fastest way is through the usb cable only where you will not find any kind of lag and you won't find any kind of start ring so this is the reason why i recommend you that if you want to really enjoy controlling your phone and write phone from pc then kindly go with this method so let's quickly get started so for that you will have to come to this website of github and you need to download the screen copy so this link you will be getting in the description once you come to this website on the right hand side you will find the releases section and then here you will find SCRCPY v2.1 you need to click on this then scroll down a bit and then in the asset section you will have to click on this SCRCPY win64 v2.1 zip click and download it and once it's been done you have to come to another website of SDK installer from Android mm -hmm. And again, you will be getting this link in the description. So once you come to this website, you will be getting the option for Windows, Mac and Linux. We are using Windows, so we will click on it. Then scroll down, check the option, click download Android SDK platform tool for Windows. And this downloading will be also started. And now once it's started, you have to open the platform tool Windows zip. So click on the folder icon. Now here both the tool will be downloaded in a zip file. So first we need to extract the platform tool that is the SDK application. So right click on it. Choose extract all. Then you can choose the location wherever you want to extract it. I will keep this to download only then click on extract. And all these files will be extracted here. Now I can close it. And you can see the platform tool this kind of folder has been created and then we also need to extract the screen copy so right click on it choose extract all then you have to choose the location so i can keep this to download only then click on select folder and then click on extract so once extracted what we can do we can delete the zip file so that there should be no confusion so i will delete it now open the screen copy folder copy everything from here select all then right click and choose copy then you have to go back then open the platform tools open platform tool folder again and paste all the file here then click replace the file in the destination all right so we are now done with the first part now next what you will have to do you need to connect your android phone to your pc or your laptop via the usb cable so now once you have connected just make sure that the permission on your android phone is not set to charging only and it should be set to file transfer android auto once you have selected that option next you also need to enable the usb debugging from the developer option so i assume that your developer option must be off and in order to enable it you need to bring up your settings in the setting you need to scroll down you might find about section or about device about your phone option so you have to tap on it then here you will find the device name all the information about your phone and then here you have to look for the version so tap on the version then you have to look for the build number so depending on the phone you can have different navigation in order to reach this build number anyhow find this build number tap seven times on this build number then it might ask you for the password so you just need to enter the password and then you will be getting a message that says you are now in a developer mode so again go back to settings tap on the search box and look for developer you will be getting the developer option tap on it now you're here in the developer option you have to look for usb debugging so scroll down until you find USB debugging. Once you get it, you have to turn on this option. Tap on OK. 
and then from your phone only you will be getting this kind of message allow usb debugging so you have to click on allow so now once you are done with this part again you just need to come back to your computer or your laptop open the sdk folder that we just had here and here you just need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key just make a right click then you will be getting an option open powershell window here so click on it the powershell window will be up now here you have to type one simple command that you can manually type or you can also copy and paste from the description so the command will be dot back forward slash adb space devices hit the enter key and once it's been done you can close it and then in the platform tool folder only you will find this kind of a screen copy application file you just have to double click on it then if you get this kind of message then you have to click on more info then click on run anyway and now you can see that a phone screen will be up all right so if i minimize everything so you can see i can quickly access my android screen from my pc or laptop and the best part is that you can just operate it control it from your mouse only and there you will not find any kind of lag or any kind of stuttering so if i click on the back option you can see it's running so smoothly everything is working so fine without any kind of problem so now i'm very sure that you really love enjoying controlling your android phone from your pc or your laptop and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye